Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Success Under Pressure. I'm your host, Gary Bailey. And I'm Michelle McLean, his co-host and better half. And aren't I lucky, guys? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> oh, I'm very lucky. <laughs> In today's show, we're here in Boca Raton, Florida to meet Gus Barney, a guy who's under the most intense and scary sort of pressure. That's right, Gary. We are going to go and meet a holistic practitioner and entrepreneur, Gus, who has just gone through the most dramatic divorce and he's dealing with bankruptcy as well as the fact that his father passed away. So let's go and see if we can go inside and help Gus try and deal with his stress and pressure. We are here with Gus, and Gus, thanks so much for giving us time and going through the pressures you have been through. Some of them are the most horrendous pressures you could imagine. They mean absolutely intense. Tell us about that. Yeah. Well, you know, going through a divorce, uh, a very uh, hectic and hard-fought divorce, a, uh, because we did have a lot of assets. Uh, my father passing in the mm -hmm. middle of the divorce, uh, which I was very close to. It's taken me some time to, you know, work through it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, devastating, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And then having to be responsible for three kids and... Uh, you're you know, playing Mr. Mom, right? I mean, <laughs> you're a single parent. <laughs> yeah. We've been easy. through that. Yeah, we've both yeah. been through that. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's my bit of advice. In the weeks after my divorce, I, I was so, it was so tough, the same sort of situation you felt. And so I actually went to comedy clubs. And I nice. just sat there because it's amazing when you laugh and a comedy club is that funny that's that you have to laugh even when the world's falling <laughs> that, apart that, around you. Right. You get to laugh and it just it just got me through and every day I'd be the end of the day I'd be down, go to a comedy club or watch a funny movie. So maybe you can do that with your kids and friends and just try and get as much of that humor into your body as possible. So Gus, being the single dad that has to go through working all day and then looking after the kids, surely finding really healthy food options is a real struggle. I mean, fast food is everywhere. So how do you cope with that? It's hard. It's not. Uh, it's mm. a. It's a. It's a challenge. So we always come back after about 30, 60 days to follow up with our client to see if they've looked after themselves with their food and their exercise regime, or with. Reframing, because we're given Gus a few things to reframe. And also humor, we want to see if he's watched any funny movies or been to a comedy clubs. So we'll find that all out when we come back to see Gus in about 30 days time. So here we are 30 days later and we're going to find out from Gus whether he actually heeded our advice. I hope he does. With all the effort we went to to come to Boca to see him. Gus, tell us, how's it going with you and the kids? Uh, it's going well. You know, I'm little by little, I'm implementing more and more things. The food is definitely something very important and uh, trying to put in as much organic and fresh, you know, fruit and vegetables as possible, you know, grass fed meats, free range, mm -hmm. you know, all that good stuff. Exercise? Exercise is up. Every you know, day? We go biking to school, wow. you know, more regularly. Um, oh, that's exciting. Spending time together, right? Spending time together is extremely important. We're connecting and we cook meals together. Your advice has been, you know, wonderful and it's, uh, it's important and people really need to know about this. Well, thanks. Thank it's you. Been great working with you and very proud of the progress you've made. Well done. And welcome to Success Under Pressure. Yes, today we're in the beautiful city of Atlanta in Georgia and we're here to meet Dr. Lynn Braddock, who's an OBGYN and her job, of course, is to bring newborns into the world and to keep the mothers safe during the process. She sadly recently retired because she just lost a patient in childbirth. She is very, very depressed. So let's see if we can go and help her, Gary. Dr. Lynn, thank you for joining us today and for being willing to share with us your story. Yeah, you, you, you work under such intense pressure. You've got lives of mothers and children that you're responsible for. <laughs> it must be extremely difficult. Oh, it is. It has been for a long time. and I had had a lot of success for many years and now I really, you know, I, I had to take a leave of absence because I don't trust myself anymore. I get shaky even thinking about going back in. Uh, even the success I've had, I, I, I'm really having a hard time. What, is there a particular incident that's happened that's made you feel this way? Oh, yeah, oh definitely there is. I'd never lost a patient. And I, unfortunately I lost a, a, a young mother and she, was, she had twins, the twins lived and she didn't make it. And she's actually a friend of a good friend of mine. And that is very, very devastating. I'm sorry, I just... No, that's okay. It's all good. I just never thought it was gonna ever happen to me. And now I can't, I don't think I can ever do this again. Mm. 
But, but just, just to get straight to the heart of it, was it actually your fault or did you do the best you could do? There's a big difference in that sense. You know, I've been so depressed over the whole thing. I, all I can do is beat myself up and blame myself. Well, have you, have you thought about one of our techniques, which is self-talk, positive talk, using positive words. It releases mm -hmm. oxytocin in your body, which is actually the cuddle oh. hormone, <laughs> which is one of the hormones that calms you down, makes you think more clearly. To say, okay, I did the best that I could do. Um, under those circumstances, that was the best that I could do. I will try that. <laughs> you know, I, stress does that to yeah. us, right? Because all our blood yeah. leaves our thinking brain yeah. and goes into our extremities, and that's what happens for fight or flight mode, just to survive. Mm. Well, we do hope that these strategies do work for you. Yes, I'm going to be back in 30 days to check okay. on you. So okay. that's until right. Then. <laughs> well, here we are back in Atlanta, Georgia, with Dr. Lynn. And Dr. Lynn, you're looking a little bit more happier than when we last saw you. Thank you so much. I, I have to say that the strategies, I did them. I did do them. Yeah. It has helped a lot. So have you yeah. been doing your gratitudes and using yeah. more positive words to yes. approach your day and cope with yes. how you're feeling? Yeah, the positive words, that was really hard, and it still is. Mm -hmm. It but, is a you hard know, one. <laughs> yeah, it is, but day every day, I'm, I'm catching myself now. Yes, you know, good. I'll say, I'll start to beat myself up and use negative language, and then I'll catch it. You know, and then I write it out in my notebook, like you said, and, and it's helped a lot. Brilliant. Well, we have yeah. other strategies that we can talk to you about later on in the year, but reframing challenges, that, that puts serotonin in your system. Um, gratitude, we've already mentioned, does dopamine yeah. and even exercise, endorphins. So we can talk mm. about all of that, but it's just great to see the progress you've made already. Oh, thank you so much. And it's, it, you know, it's, a, it's an uphill battle. It's one day at a time. But I can honestly tell you all that I'm really considering now going back to work. Serious? Oh, yes. my gosh. Yes. Oh, my yes. Gosh. Yeah, thank you. Good thank stuff. you. I, I'm really pleased. And it, it's a process. Uh, it's going to take some more time. But I'm getting there. I'm moving in that direction. Well, we're very grateful that yeah. our strategies did have a wonderful effect on your life. Yeah. And thank you. keep up the progress. Yes, keep using those strategies and share them with everybody else. Thank you so much. It would be my pleasure. Well, done. well, that brings us to the end of our show today. And boy, Gary, you were right. Dr. Lynn was under extreme pressure. And isn't it great to see her go back to work, using the principles, going back to helping people, and it makes our job worthwhile. Sometimes it's hard work, but when you see the impact it has on people, absolutely awesome. Our strategies are really rewarding. Gratitude for the job we do. <laughs> and by the way, don't forget next week to tune in, we'll be going to California to look at the pressure that those very brave firefighters are under on a regular basis. A show Stay not tuned. to be missed.